All right, this is totally not the way I intended this video to go. I got a package. This is from eBay. Let's see what it is. You already know, probably. All right. Yes. 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 It is the train. This was all right, we have got another Inscale Bachman TGV. Um, many of you may not know this, but I had the Inscale Bachman TGV. came in different packaging, I believe, than this, and I did not get it at KB Toys like this one came from, KB Toys. I did get it from JCPenney, but then I sold it in early 2000s uh, on eBay, and now I was like, man, I wish I hadn't have sold it. So, we've tried to get another one, and the one we bought before had a defective motor. This one, I think, is missing a wheel, but it sh he said that the motor works, so we're going to find out. Looks like the track has fallen. It's the old-style Bachman track. Let's see if I can get this thing out of this box without messing it up. Oh, it's got a cross track. Mine did not come with a cross track. He must have extra track in here. Oh look, this box is track. Yeah, that would have been what it would have had, an oval. So this is a freebie, basically. I don't I don't have any of this style track. I got all the uh, Bachman Easy track. This is the older, because this is like a 30-year-old set. When did this come out? Oh, la, la, la. Might have been in the 90s. The one I had, I know, came out in uh, the 80s, because I had it when I was in school. Which, I graduated in the 80s, so... All right, got that out. There's something else heavy in here. Oh, yes, the transformer. Feels like there's something else in here. Is that everything? All right. Let's see if this thing will work. I think what I'm going to do is set up the easy track instead of the uh, in-scale track. Wow, there's a lot of track in here. So... That's actually probably is enough to make an up an oval, but the the um, easy track is easier. The easy track's got the road bed. It holds the track together better. Well, I say it holds it better, and I can't, can't hardly put it. All right, so let me set this up. Shouldn't take. One. Oh, still can't get it right. All right, I can have it. Dag nabbit. I'll set that up and then come back. All right, I sure hope this works. We'll get the locomotive out first before we take anything else out. This looks like it is the locomotive. Right here. I'll leave the capillaries down. <laughs> I know what these are. Not capillaries, those are veins. This thing does not want to stay down. We'll keep it up then. All right. Let's see if this thing will work after all of these years. <gasps> Oh, it works. It works. I'm so happy. And it stopped working. There it goes. Oh, it's fast. Awesome. I don't even think that's full throttle. That's full throttle. Is it going on two wheels around the curves? All right. Very nice. It's got the light and everything. So let's make this thing work. I think you'll see... Yeah, we're missing one wheel. Whoops. Focus in on it right there. So we're going to set it up with the other one. So here is the one we purchased previously that I was unable to repair. So 
see how long a train I can make. I think I can only add, a, yeah, I don't think I can add all of them. I have to have all the wheels, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Well, I think I burned it up without even going a half a turn around this, this oval of track. It got locked up going around the curve. I don't know if I didn't have it on the track right. See how this thing rolls. Maybe I didn't have my track together right. But I think I have burned it up. Stripped out the threads, the gears. Let's try it out again and see what happens. Yep. Wonderful. Dang it. Oh, here we go. Maybe it's going to go after all. Let's see what happens. Man, I have ruined it. All right, I can't believe I've done this. I've tried to make a longer train. I think I exceeded the limit of what this thing could pull, and I have ruined it. Listen to it. Wonderful. So all may not be lost. It looks like one of the traction tire, or the only traction tire. There's not one on the front there. There's a traction tire right there. Can you see it? It's come off, so I'm going to try to put that back on. Oh yeah, there's another one on the other side. See if that makes it work. Well, only I could break something seconds within getting it. Well, actually, I think I made it a few minutes. This is actually the um, one of the cars from the other one. The light and the back unit actually worked. So now I have the joy of having a push train. The thing does not roll very well, which might have been why I burned up the motor. Exciting. Here we go. TGV. Man, it won't even stay on the track pushing it. What's up with this thing? What did I do wrong? Awesome. Isn't that exciting? Woohoo! Push train! Here we go! Whoa! derailed again. I don't think I got these center pieces on right. That's what I'm guessing. What do you think? Yeah. I might probably need to take one of them out. I could, with some fancy editing, I can make it look like this thing works. Except for the parts where I derailed it. There it goes again. I give up. Alright. This is totally not the way I intended this video to go. I'm actually kind of depressed. I hate to take this thing apart. Being that I took the other one apart and never got it back together, right? Let's see if I can figure out what's holding this thing up. Probably cracked it. 
just a little plastic drive wheel in there. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> it's moving! It's moving! Miracles! Miracle! Miracle! Whoa! Okay, let's put this back on before I break it anymore. How did this go? Did it go inside the uh, plastic? Uh, I think so. Oh, crap. I think I just broke the camp capillaries. Canterberries. Can 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 Catalina. Catalina Viet. I don't know what those things are called. What are they called? Uh, Cantillaries. Something like that. Alright, I'm going to put this the bottom back on. I gave it the old Fred Sanford, good old tap on the motor. I've been told that the um, plastic. You know what? You may not have seen the video. I put it on Briggs R Fun because I, I I was so depressed. I made a video of the other one. I was filming it, unboxing it, and it didn't work. I took it apart, still didn't work, and ended up getting to the part where the wheels are, and there's. Uh, a piece that was getting hung up in the gears on both in ends and I've been told that that piece can crack it's just a plastic there's a plastic rod that goes from the motor the motors in the center that plastic rod goes to each end and it's just a little tiny thing and it would spin freely if I took it off of this but when I would try to turn this with the plastic part it would turn about a turn and a half or something and then it would stop so something was keeping it, but I can never see what it is, but it could be because that thing is cracked. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take the train off. And let's see if this thing goes now. Oh, I'm relieved. All right. All right, before I put it on with the train, i got to make sure everything's rolling freely and there's nothing obstructing it. Wonderful. So excited. Alright, I see I forgot to put the traction tire. Probably should put that thing on there. It was too hard. Alrighty, moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Try not to burn it up this time. Is it on the track? I think it's on the track. Oh, here we go. I'm not pushing it this time. Curves are probably going to be hard for it. Please don't burn up. Please don't burn up. Oh, it came off the track. Again. Better stop it. This piece here is giving me trouble. I probably need to take it out. But there's too big a gap there. Yep, came off again. All right, I'm going to stop it. That, that's going to burn it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this extra. I added the extra cars. You know what? I think I see what the problem is. I probably put the wrong one there. Hmm. I'll see if I can fix that. I really need to figure out how to put that traction tire on. It's just too hard. It's so small. It's so teeny tiny. All right, so what I've done is I... Stay in focus. I took the one. This is the one that was in the middle here. I took the one that was missing the wheel out of there, and I put it in there. Uh, for some reason, it just wasn't spinning freely uh, when the car would go around a curve. So we're going to see if this works any better. I hope it does. See if we can go around one time without derailing. Uh oh ow oh. oh, damn it it's typical all right it's working I'm stopping let me clean this table off here all right please don't burn up oh, I'm so happy it's working should move that probably gonna lose it
several minutes now and it's doing pretty good no smoke coming out of it <laughs> I like it being a little bit longer of a train than what it would typically be with the set I had not have the two extra cars basically probably could have been the wrong sequence that's okay what do you think so happy it's working now I can do my TGV collection I've been wanting to do a TGV collection because we have the HO version, we have the Tomy version, the Lego version. So I think that's four versions. Awesome. I'm so happy it works. Stop it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right, before we go, we will show you the box once again. And I'm going to, I'm curious, I never did. I should, this box is kind of heavy for Inskill. Try and see how much track is in here. Oh, there's long straight track. It's a terminal. That's the Bachman style re-railer. Another long straight track. That's like a 10 inch straight. So I guess I could make a figure eight with that. That's what I should do. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. You'll have to try that. So that's a lot of track. And I'm assuming it's enough to make a figure eight. I don't know what the pattern is to do it. It's, it's probably an eight. That would be the pattern. That's not what I mean. I mean, I don't know which sequence to put the track. You know, we can, we can experiment with it. All right. Let's look at the box here. So I'm really happy to get this, uh, especially with the box. The one I bought before just had the uh, inner styrofoam. So Le Grand, no wait, Le Train a Grande Vitale. I don't know what that means. Uh, the high-speed French in-scale passenger train, TGV, ready to run, complete with oval of track. And it had this little paper in there. So basically it only came with uh, a, the curves to make a circle plus the four, it looks like it had four straight sections to make the oval of track. Um, but it's got information here about the TGV design and Design, development, and engineering, paving the way, the impossible feat, and fast, comfortable, and beautiful view. It even has a map of where it goes. It shows an interior view there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, this is my favorite TGV. I, I just like this better than the other colors of it. And then it's got more information about what Botman's doing to bring you the TGV. The French call it Le, Grand, Le Train de Grande Vitesse or Le Tour sur le Rail, which means the high speed train or the art of the rail. Sorry, I don't speak French. So, uh, pretty awesome. So, I'm again, I'm really happy that I didn't kill this thing. Of course, if you have a working product that you would like me to break, be sure to sing it. <laughs> sing it. All right, so I'm really glad I didn't break this. I totally thought, I mean, I was really. I mean, I was so bummed out before. Uh, I know it wasn't all on camera, but uh, I went and ate dinner, and I was just thinking about this the whole time, and I'm so glad it started working. But anybody who's watched my Lego channel, Bricks are even here on this channel, you know I've got a habit of breaking things. In fact, I broke the um, Star Wars train, and I've been trying to, put, trying to put the coupler back on. I took the bottom off thinking I was going to take the case off to get to where I could put the coupler on. I ended up breaking the motor, so... <laughs> Just to put the coupler on. Oh, so, yeah, a $90 motor, uh, train engine. I can fix it. I just got to get the right screwdrivers to put that back on. But, yeah. So, anyway, uh, short story long. If you have something you would like me to break, please send it to Briggsar at 66 Fire Tower Road, number 264, Cassville, Georgia, 30123. I'll be happy to break something within five seconds of receiving it. So, yeah. Anyway. Seriously, guys, thank you for watching, and we're going to be doing more train videos here on Bricks Are Toys as well as Trains Are Fun. i got to run this thing with Thomas over there on Trains Are Fun. See ya. Bye.